Hello everyone and today I will be giving a tour to everyone new to Pop Jam and how to use it. So if you open the app it will show you the title. So it will send you to the feed page where you can see all the posts from your followers. So if you follow a person you can see all the new posts from the feed page. So what you can do on a post is see when it was posted at the top right corner. If you press that, you can report the post if it's something inappropriate and doesn't follow the rules. And if you click more, you can save it to your role, set as the profile image, set as your cover image or copy to clipboard. You can also heart the post and you can also comment you can jam the post which is basically like reposting it and it will share it with your followers <coughs> you can also add a caption to your post like this mention a pop jammer or tag something relevant to it so next I want to show you is the discover tab which shows all the channels games and tags so on the channels page you can see all the channels that have been verified or as a neon star a black star or a staff member so the green tick ones are shows that the channel is verified the star ones is to show that they're a neon star because they're talented black star ones over here <coughs> means that they have more than a thousand followers <coughs> and <coughs> the staff members have a shield with an S on it they help you around and are really nice so you can go follow these people if you're interested in them and what they have to show <coughs> So on the games bit, there are question quizzes, tests and games to play. <coughs> so if you go on this, it's a test. So if you click on it, and press start. So I'm going to choose some random ones. So this is the result of what you've chosen. You can share it with your followers. You can, there is also another quiz that you can play, a question quiz. So <coughs> if you think it's right, swipe right to say it's right and if you think it's wrong swipe left so my high score is 30 points so let's play. It gets harder as you answer more questions correctly, so you can share it or you can retry. <coughs> so you can play a game as well on here. So this is Colour Traction. This is a really hard game, but it, it, will, it won't be hard if you practice a lot. <coughs> hey. 
So wait for it to load, then you can press play. <coughs> So you have to shoot all of them down and press the screen to shoot. We did it. So I just failed at that game, so those are the games, these are the most tags used in a post, the most popular tags that are used every day, so you can view the tags used in a post, so those are the tags and you can create a post by pressing on the plus button in the middle. So there are colouring tools you can colour with, so these are all the colours you can use. There is a rainbow one, that is really cool, and you can, there is eight strokes for the rainbow one, I don't know why. There is an eraser, so you can rub things out, and you can also change the size of your pen by doing that. You can add a photo, or you can choose a photo pressing that icon. So, you can take a photo pressing the icon, and you can add a photo pressing the icon as well. So, these are the stickers you can add to make your post more interesting. So, you can rotate them as well. You can add up to five animated stickers in your post. So if you go onto the GIFs, there are lots of cool ones. And if you want one with a transparent background, you should go to stickers. Because they have transparent backgrounds. So, on the text, you can write something. You can rotate the text, you can change the font of it, you can change the colour of it, and you can add a background colour, or you can remove the background. So, 
you can write a caption here using 120 characters. You can tag something using the hashtag or mention someone. You can undo something by pressing the arrow at the top right and that will undo the text. You can delete the post by pressing the bin at the top right corner as well. So that's what you can do on a post. <coughs> so on your alerts, you get an alert when someone interacts with you on PopCham by mentioning you somewhere, hearting your post and content, commenting on it, following you or adding you as a top friend. You can view their profile by pressing their profile picture. You can follow them. So onto your profile. It has your profile picture, your cover image, your bio, how many people you are following and how many followers you have. And there is a get followers button there. You can have badges that display on your channel. So you can get badges by playing quizzes. You can have free top friends listed here. You can edit them by removing them and adding some new ones in and press done. So these are all your creations. They are on here and it tells you how many creations you've made at the top. These are all the posts I've made. So if you go on to the settings at the top right corner, you can log out. You can see the guide and safety and more. You can edit the notifications if you want them or not when you get an alert. You can update your email that you use for password recovery and you can edit your profile by pressing this it's so here you can edit your profile image edit your cover image your bio you can change the background color and you can change the background pattern And when you're done, you can press the tick at the top right corner. So I hope this helped and thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys soon and bye.